Good evening, let's just wait. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Liz? How are you, Michelle? I'm fine. Great, okay. Let's just wait for the rest. Oh. Okay, so let's practice. How are you? Okay. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Ivan. Okay, I'm just waiting. How are you, Edwin? Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing great. How are you, Edwin? I'm fine. I'm just going Hi. to start the class because I'm just uh, get to, to the house for, for the job. I just arrived home. And I study how the pasado. Okay. That's okay. Okay. So why are you happy? Are you happy? Uh, maybe, maybe I'm happy. I'm, but happy. I'm so tired. I'm tired. Okay. Why are you tired? Because the traffic was so it's, hard. It's so it's, hard. Yeah. So Remember, present, present, present. Yeah, it was. Present. It, it is hard. It is difficult. The traffic is difficult. Okay. okay. To get home. Okay. Michelle, how about you? How about you, Michelle? Mm, I'm fine. You're fine? Okay. You're happy. Really? Why are you happy? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm happy. Mm, just because. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's the way you say it. I don't know. Eh, just because. Mm -hmm. Just because. Yes. There's no reason. There's no reason to be happy. It's just because. I'm alive. That's good. Yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Hello, Lore eh, Hello, Lorena. How are you? I think she got stuck. Um, her internet got frozen. Okay, Liz, how are you? I'm fine. Really? Yeah. How how do you feel? How do you feel tonight? Um, I don't know, Anderson. How do you feel? <laughs> Do you, do you feel happy? Do you feel sad? Um, I'm happy for tomorrow. Um, ¿cómo puedo decir estoy libre? <laughs> because tomorrow I am uh -huh. free. I'm free because bueno, tomorrow I'm free. Free okay. tomorrow. Um, dos días. Entonces, for tendré... two days. Two days. Uh -huh. So, libre por dos días. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow, and well, tomorrow I'm free and I have, I have two days off. Two days okay. off. Good. Okay. That's great. Good evening, Gloria. Hey, good evening. Good How night. Good, mm -mm, good evening. How good are evening. you? Um, so so. Uh, mm, it dice nerviosa? Nervous. Nervous. Why are you nervous? For the, for the okay. Okay, repeat. Uh, because. Because. La entrevista que tengo con usted. Because of the <laughs> because of the interview we have. Because of the interview, the interview we have we have tonight. 
tonight. Okay. It's not an interview. It's a one-on-one -on -one session. It's a one-on-one -on -one session. One-on-one. Um, one-on-one. One. Um, by the way, please put your cell phones on uh, vibration, if you may, please. Important. <laughs> okay. So, yes, don't be nervous, Gloria. Don't be nervous. Listen, don't be nervous. You don't, don't. You don't have to be nervous. Okay? It's just 10 minutes. Questions. A lot of questions that you have. You have to prepare the questions for the one-on-one -on -one sessions. So, let's start, guys. Let's start. Let's talk about your thingy. Okay, let's talk about your homework. Remember? Homework. Okay. But this time, let's do it a little different. Okay, a little different. You ask me, hey, teacher, how do you say? Mm hmm. In English. Okay, remember we say this with a verb and a word. So twice. Okay, second question How do you use it? Okay, let's go. Who wants to start? Who wants to start? No volunteer. Okay, my favorite, my favorite color. What is my favorite color? Guess. Guess my favorite color. Your, your favorite color is it black. Yes, it is black. <laughs> okay, thank you. Jose, go ahead. <laughs> hey, hey, a question, you? Uh -huh. Yes, ask me. Ask me, okay. teacher. Uh, how do you say? Um, estrellado o cielo estrellado in English, please. Okay, if you speak about the sky, okay, so if you're if you talk about the sky, you say sky, okay? And in that context, estrellado, you say starry, starry. Hmm. Let's see if it is dull or yeah, starry night, starry sky. So I love to see the starry sky. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Starry, starry. Because it is full of stars. It is full of stars. A lot of stars. But if you say estrellado about an egg, for example, that doesn't make sense. How do you say huevos estrellados in English? Are you here? <laughs> huh? Okay. Revueltos. You say scrambled. Scrambled eggs. Okay. Scrambled eggs. Smashed. Smash. Estrellado. Estrellar. Smash. Estrellado. Smashed. Okay. Smashed. For example, smashed potatoes. I, I could say, I eat smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes is puré. Yeah, that is puré. Perfect. I eat smashed potatoes. I don't eat smashed potatoes, do I? 
eat smashed potatoes. Remember, the complement is always the same. You see, easy, easy, very easy. Okay, thank you. Great job. Smashed potatoes. I love to see the starry sky. Did someone try? Did someone try to uh, verify this sentence? Let me do something really quick. I'm sharing something that I shouldn't. There we go. Okay, so. Okay, let's keep going. So let me see if I was right. I love to see the starry sky. Yeah, there you go. Me encanta ver el cielo estrella. Okay, no Spanish today, okay? No Spanish. Starry sky. Okay, good. Jose, what's your favorite color? My favorite, my, my, my favorite color is orange. 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 Man, that's difficult. Okay, wait. Time out. Eric Salvador, eh, Rafael Ernesto, maybe Zivet, Vanessa Garcia, please turn on your cameras, guys. And full name, Dewey name, Dewey name, Lise, Dewey name. Okay. Orange. Orange. Hmm. Lisa's, Lisa's lips look orange, don't you think? And, oh, wait, Gloria. Gloria has a little, Gloria has a little piece. Oh, and Patricia too. You know what, Patricia is an orange sunset. Do you see the orange sunset on Patricia's um, frame? There's a frame, a picture on Patricia's back, on Patricia's back. Okay. Good, you see? Hello, Patricia. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's go, Patricia. How, ask me a question. Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say grabar? Grabar? English, how do you say Grabar in English. Okay. Hmm. In what context? Like grabar like this? On a cell phone? On cell phone? Yes? Yes. Okay, grabar. So I said it before. <clears throat> grabar. You say record. 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 Yeah. Grabar in wood. In wood. You know what is wood? What is wood? Madera. Yeah. I'm, mm, I'm missing something in this spelling. Engrave. Hold engrave. Hold on. It's not engrave. It's engrave. It's a G, not a C. Okay, engrave. Engrave. Okay. Or you can also say carve. Mm -hmm. Carve. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, when you carve with something sharp like a knife, the wood. Okay. Okay, so grabar. What would be the word? How do you say? Uh huh, Patricia. Eh, este, <laughs> very good. Este, tendría que estar relacionado a la palabra, verdad? Yeah, it has to be related. Grabar. To be related to the verb. Um, entonces, video. Okay, easy. Okay. Well, you have some some options here. Americans say video. Did you say video? But more common, they say film. Mm -hmm. And 
Sometimes they use the word videotape it. Hey, you should videotape it. You should videotape it. Which means grabar too. Okay, videotape it. So let's see, grabar video, okay. She records a video every night. Oh, every night. Negative, she doesn't record a video every night. Question, does she record a video every night? In that simple present, third person, guys. She records, don't forget the S on a positive sentence. She records a video every night. Hey, what about the question? What does she do every night? What does she do every night? Oh, why did I type it right together? Okay, what, what does she do every night? What's the answer? Exactly, she records a video. Got it? Got it. Got it? Okay, you have positive, yes. negative, question, open question. Does she record the video every night, remember? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, one more. Come on, guys, challenge me, challenge me. Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say Via Lactea in Holy English? mother of God. Okay, that's a tough one. Repeat, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, I don't even remember the name of the word of that expression. That's a tough one. That's yeah, I always one. make this mistake. You notice A instead of O? That's a tough one. This is a common saying in America. That's a tough one. Es esta yuca. That's a tough one. Okay. Via Láctea. Let's go through the Milky Way. <laughs> like the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> the universe? The universe, yeah. Galaxy. The galaxy is the galaxy, but we live in the Milky Way. Don't believe me? You don't trust me? Okay, let's check. The Milky Way. Yes. Really? Milky Way. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way. Milky way. We live in the Milky Way. Okay, we live in the Milky Way. And the Milky Way is in the galaxy. Okay. Interesting. Right? <laughs> Good. Okay. I, I already made the sentence, Rafa, or what word, what word can you use? I mean, what verb can you use with Milky Way? It. Uh, eat. Comer. <laughs> <laughs> I love to eat Milky Ways. Explore. explore. Stro come again. Come again. Explore. Oh, explore. Yeah. Explore. Mm -hmm. Right. So listen. Mankind explores 
Mankind. Milky Way. What is mankind? Mankind explores the Milky Way. What is mankind? No idea? Hmm. Keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this. Mankind explores the Milky Way. Okay. Context. Hmm. It's not doing it. Look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, and not even like that is correcting it. There you go. Mankind. Did you see? Si notaron lo que pasó? Okay. Mankind, humanidad. Okay. Then we have mankind, la humanidad. Because I'm pluralizing. Estoy pluralizando hombre. Okay. Good. Mankind. Men, kind. Men, plural. Kind, amable. An adjective. Okay. And still, los hombres. So what I wanted to say was, that's the way. Hmm. Mankind explores the Milky Way. I hope you noticed. Espero que hayan notado eso, eh? ¿Qué pasó ahí? What happened? Okay, let's talk about regular and irregular plurals. I should say irregular plurals. Just the one I mentioned, you have men, and the plural is men. Okay? Men. You have man, men, man, men. Let's see. Man, men. Man, men. <laughs> very... Man, men. Man, man. Okay. It's very similar, the pronunciation. Okay. The same happens with woman. What's the plural for woman? Women. Okay. Women. No. Wait a minute. Woman, women. And what changes is this. Women. Teacher, but he's a woman. Yeah, women. Man, men, woman, women. Woman, women. Woman, women. Women. Okay. Another irregular. What's the plural for child? Children. Children. Be careful with Children. that. Never add an S to children. That's the plural. So you have child or kid if you want, and then the plural is children. Okay. What is the plural for a ship? Mm -hmm. Shipper? Mm -hmm. Shipper? No, no. Shepherd. Um, yeah, it's just, and that's not the right spelling. No, shepherd is el pastor. Okay, no, but the plural, the plural for ship is ship. It's the same. Ship, ship. Okay, what is the plural for fish? I, I will use this quantifier. I'll use this quantifier, a lot of, muchas, to pluralize, okay? So you will live in para que me crean. A lot of sheep, muchas ovejas. But keep an eye on this, a sheep. Look at the, the, trans, the traduction here, the translation here. So you have a sheep, una oveja. A lot of sheep. Muchas ovejas. Same thing happens with a fish. A fish. If I say many fish, got it? It's the same. Irregular plurals. Mouse. Thank you very much. Mouse. What is the plural for mouse? Mice. Mice, thank you. Mice. Mouse, mice. 
and at this point, at this point, you say, now it all makes sense. Repeat, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes, all makes sense. It all, it all, now it all makes sense. Now it all. Now we, now we all. Now it all makes, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Again. Now it all makes sense. Hace el traductor te une el it with it all. It all. Now it all makes sense. Okay. It's like it's like when you say. It's like when you say he vivido engañado toda mi vida, right? Mouse is not mouses. Okay. Uh -uh. Deep. Mice. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Deep. Thank you. So you have thief. Sorry. Yes. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Thief. The share. Yes. No. Uh, if, si yo quiero decir, uh, I see two mice. Oh, okay. I see two mice. Exactly. That's the point. Thank you. So you have thief in the plural for words ending on F, like thief, wolf, and knife. The plural is to replace this F with V E S. So the plural will be thieves. Okay, thieves. So thief, thief, and then you say thieves. Wolf, our wolf. You say wolves, wolves, wolves. Knife. Nice. Say knives. Okay. Oh, oh, very useful. See that? Leaf. Teacher, pero esas no son verbos. ¿Cómo se le llamarían esas palabras? These are verbs. No, 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 no. Wait, which one? No. This one? Nouns. Nouns. These are nouns. Exactly. These are nouns. Teacher? Yeah. Thief. Thief. You mean chief? No, thief. Irregular, irregular now. Oh, oh, yes. thank you. Teeth. Then you have tooth. One, one tooth. Teacher, because they change in plural. Exactly. I said irregular plurals. Irregular plurals. Come on, guys. If you say person, what is the plural for person? People. People. People, People is stranger. People. There you go. And there are a lot of, a lot of irregular plurals. Okay, so keep an eye. Oh. Same happens with deer. Let me check. Let me remember. Deer. Yeah, deer, deer. Okay. Questions? No. No questions. Okay. So these are irregular plurals. I just wanted to show you a little bit, a little bit. This is very important. Teeth, tooth, um, toe, toes, finger, fingers. Was another one in the teeth. I can't remember. Okay, good. Practice, study, research, research. It's very important to be always researching. Okay. For more information, okay? Questions? 
No? Okay. Let's get into it. Um, let me remember really quick here. Yep, information questions. This is what we did yesterday, right? We finished with do or does, right? Do or does. Now, something that I haven't done with you is to explain, to remember again, the structure of the simple present. So let's do it really quick. Remember, on an affirmation, an affirmative sentence, you need a subject and then a verb in its base form, okay? Then you need a complement, that's it. So again, you need a subject, a verb, and a complement. For a negative sentence, you need a subject, then you need the auxiliary, which in this case is do or does. Okay, you need not. And then you need the verb in its base form again. And finally, again, the complement. And this is a negative sentence. Affirmative, negative. What about the questions? Okay, affirmative, negative, and let's call this a close question or yes, no questions. You need an auxiliary or simple present again is do or does. Okay, then you need what? The subject a verb and the complement, right? So far so good? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Repeat, so far so good, you say? So far so, so, far, good? so good? Okay. So far so good. Now, for uh, a WH question or the way they call it, information questions. You just need this. You start with a WH word and then the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. So let's see. Mavis. Yes. Let's replace parts of the formula. Let's go with an affirmation. Subject, verb, complement. She dance. Did you say he or she? She. Here. No. He or she? <laughs> <laughs> she. Okay, she. She danced in the party. Okay, what am I missing, guys? What? Dances. Dances, dance. She dances, okay? Remember, for he, she, and it, I modify the verb on affirmatives. He, she, it modifies the verb with S, E, S, or I, E, S. 
Let's go with a negative, Eric. She does. She doesn't. She doesn't. Hmm? She doesn't dance. dance in the party. In the oh, party. come on. Make your own sentence. <laughs> Something else. She dance. She doesn't dance in the party. <laughs> okay. She doesn't dance in the party. Good. She doesn't dance in the party. She doesn't dance in the party. Remember intonation. So she dances in the party. She dances in the party. She doesn't dance in the party. She okay. doesn't dance in the party. Strong. She doesn't dance in the party. Thank you. Let's go with da, 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 da. Patricia. A question. Um, the question. Um, does she doesn't in the party? Hmm. Like that? No. Remember, yes. third person. That I, <laughs> does she dance? Does she dance in the party? Does she dance in the party? Does she dance in the party? Listen. Does she dance in the party? Does she dance in the party? Does she dance in the party? Good. Does she dance in the party? Very good. Let's go with a WH question with Jancy. Agency, so we have a WH, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, a complement, and a question mark. So, uh, does she dance in the party? Con la misma expresión. What? Same question. Yeah, same sentence. La misma oración. Same sentence. Uh, where? Hmm. Do Where do doesn't hmm. like that? Uh -huh. Doesn't doesn't. Where doesn't? No. Uh huh. Where does she dance? Don't they Okay. Yes. Bien, paso al español. Sí pueden hacer preguntas negativas, así como en el español. Okay, so you can say, how can you translate this? Rafa, where doesn't she dance? Where? Eh, ¿Dónde ella no baila? ¿Dónde no baila ella, papá? ¿Dónde no baila ella? <laughs> you got it. Ah, okay. Where doesn't she dance? I don't know if I ask you, does she dance? Te pregunto que si ya se baila. Does she dance? What me says, where doesn't she dance? A donde no baila. That's right? true. Very That's true. true. Really? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Good job. Okay. So this could be a negative. Let's make it positive. Jose, can you help us again? What? <laughs> Excellent. What? <laughs> make it uh, make it positive. A positive question. So you have does she dance in the party? What will be the information question? The WH question here. When she does. Hmm. When? Look at the formula. When? When does she? Dance in the party. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michelle, do you help us? Can you help us? Okay. What time? What time she dance in the party? Que dia? 
Michelle, what do you think? When does she dance in the party? Is that okay? Yes. Sí. Yes. Cuando sí. ella baila en la fiesta. En la fiesta. Cuando ella baila en la fiesta. When does she dance in the party? Mm, it will make sense if I say, when does she dance in the parties? Cuando baila ella en las fiestas? Oh, when her boyfriend oh, goes. Cuando su novio va. Ah, y si baila la condenada. Okay. Right. When does she dance in the parties? Cuando baila en las fiestas? When her boyfriend goes. Ahí sí. Si no, no. ¿Ya? Ahora bien, mi esperanza era que entendieran esto de que dentro de una pregunta cerrada, ¿ok? Does she dance in the party? Puede estar la respuesta que estás buscando. So, también, sí. Simplemente, when does she dance? When does she dance? O más apropiado, perdón. Where does she dance? Where does she dance? ¿Ok? Where does she dance? In the party. Why does she dance? Uh, ok. Si fuese why, y eso lo voy a hacer en español porque quiero que no vayan a cometer el error en un examen. Lo que se espera en un examen es que de la pregunta cerrada, tú elimines una parte prácticamente y busques la, la respuesta que esperas buscar. O sea... Um, Does she dance in the party? Hasta podrías preguntar, what does she do in the party? ¿Qué hace ella en la fiesta? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? She dances. She dances. She dances. Oh. She dances. Oh, see? She dances. She dances. Mm -hmm. sure. Ya, yeah. ok, ya. Yeah. Teacher, estaría bien. Who does she dance with? Perfect. Who does she dance with? Who does she dance with? Who does she dance with? Otra manera de decirlo con lo que veíamos ayer. ¿Quién me traduce esa oración? Who dances with her? ¿Quién baila con ella? Mm -hmm. Who does she dance with? ¿Con quién baila ella? ¿Quién baila con ella? ¿Quién baila con ella? Sería la segunda, exactly. Very good. ¿Con quién baila ella? Who does she dance with? ¿Quién baila con ella? Who dances with her? Questions? Questions? No? Veo que todos están así como copiando lo que hemos puesto aquí. Ok. It's clear. Teacher, pudiéramos decir, when does she go to party? When does she go to party? When does she go to party? ¿Cuándo va ella a la fiesta? I started, when does she go to party? ¿Cuándo se va de parranda? To the party. La fiesta ya está en contexto, José. Se agregó en el THE, el artículo, estaría en contexto que ya sé de cuál fiesta. When does she go okay. to the party? ¿Cuándo va a la fiesta? A ver si se, si se le, ok, ahí está en el chat. Todo lo que estaba ahí pegado. Ok. Marvin could not attend the session one to one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mavis. Ok, tenemos un espacio vacío para nuestra sesión de esta noche, espiritismo. Es si alguien se nos quiere unir. El espacio de Marvin nos dicen que está disponible. Me avisa esa persona, por favor, para anotarle ahí y apartarle tres de queso. Ok. You let me know. Okay. Good. Let's keep going. We have a lot to cover. <laughs> I know. Shut up.
Llevo un mes sin comer pupusas. Una cortina de mayonesa, por favor. Oh, come on, what? Con mayonesa. No, you don't do that. Whoa, how do you say mayonesa in English? How do you say mayonesa in English? Mayo. 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 <laughs> Tengo mayo. The same way. Mayo. Okay. Mayonnaise. No. Mayonnaise. Yeah, I know. It's mayonnaise. 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 But the common word, the common word is mayo. Hey, can you give me some mayo? Can you give me some mayo? What? Okay. okay, so this is what we just talked about. What does she do? Where does he go? Which department does our boss supervise? So yesterday we didn't do this. So let's do it. Why he have a meeting where she processes the payments? What Ingrid do on Wednesday? When employee acquired the thermal material. Okay, go ahead, try it. You only have three minutes. Hurry up. Mayo. Okay, go. You have four exercises. One minute. And time's up. Okay, let's go. Number one. Let's go with Ophelia. Where's my favorite student, Ophelia? Hello, teacher. Number Good one. Evening. Good evening. Uh, my husband is a native. Okay, so it's why? Why? Hi. He? He? Mm -hmm. eh. okay. Have it. Mm -hmm. A meeting. A meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ofelia, quiero que revise lo que les envié ahí en el chat. Era una formulita, ¿no? So, we said WH. Dijimos WH más. Ok. Auxiliary. 
el auxiliar, sí, que podría ser do o das, porque sí. do es para las primeras y segundas personas y das para las terceras personas. Y luego tengo el sujeto, el verbo, el verbo. y el complemento para hacer una pregunta abierta. So, revisemos ahorita, Ofelia, quiero que usted me aterrice esto. Reemplace con su vista. Tengo una WH acá, ok. Tenía que ser... Dice guay. Power. Hmm. Ok, ¿qué es lo que le falta a esta estructura que me hizo? Dentro de la fórmula, ¿qué es lo que hace falta acá? Ya tengo una WH, Ofelia. Ahí está acá. Why. Uh -huh. Ok. Why. Según la fórmula, ¿qué falta. seguiría? Das. Ajá, das. Ahí está. Why. Das. Why. He. Y luego el subject, he, very good. El verbo sería have. Okay. Y esto de a meeting sería a el meeting. complement. El complemento. Compl compl very good. Quiero que empiece a analizar siempre, siempre, así cualquier oración que usted vea, analícela. Ya conocemos los sujetos. Ya sabemos que los verbos son acciones. ¿Ok? Ya sabemos que la A es un artículo. Y meeting... Pues puede ser un nombre, ¿no? ¿Qué es meeting? ¿Qué es meeting? Meeting. ¿Qué es meeting, guys? Reunión. 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 Got it. Why does he have a meeting? Very good. Thank you, Ophelia. Let's go next with... Dun, 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 dun. Don't cry for me, Yancy. Don't cry. Okay, let's go with Flor. Flor. Lorena. Lorena. Okay, number three. What does do? What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Is, ah, okay, number two. It was okay. Let's do number three. What? Oh, number three. <laughs> That's okay. What does Ingrid? Uh huh. Do. Do. On Wednesday. On. No, they say Wednesday. Well, <laughs> it's very long, right? When no Wednesday. 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 Yeah, Wednesday. 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 Yep. So, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? What Wednesday. does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Okay. Good. Let's go with number two. Carla Vanessa, are you with us? Está con nosotros, Carla Vanessa. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Tengo problemas para conectarme ahorita con la cámara. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. So number two, can you see where she processes the payments? I can see that. No, no Sorry. Puedo. Okay, it's okay. Sí, estoy en mi teléfono, está raro. <laughs> it's okay. Liz? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Yeah? Yeah, number two. Where does she the payment process? Where does she the payment process? Hmm. Y si sí, te puede confundir esto. Perdón, ¿no? teacher. Teacher, uh -huh. no, no, no vi bien. Perdón, tengo la dislexia, creo yo. Pero fíjate que nos va a ayudar, nos va a ayudar este error. No te preocupes. Esta área okay. de oportunidad nos va a ayudar. Sí. A ver, chicos, aterricemos esto, lo que le estaba diciendo Ophelia. Um, espérame, ¿qué hice? Ok. Where does she. Payment process. Vamos a escribirlo otra vez. So, decía nuestra compañera, where does she payment process? Aquí en donde tú vas a usar algo que 
a veces no ocupamos y no, o sea, sin ánimo de fidelidad, pero es cierto. Uh, una profesora de séptimo grado me decía, y estaba enamorada de ella. ¿Quién no se enamora en séptimo grado, por favor, de las profesoras? Este me decía, Rodríguez me decía, primero pienso, luego existo, me decía. ¿Qué era decir? Platón me decía, primero pienso, luego existo. Luego entendí eso. Ey, usamos, usa la lógica y me sirvió mucho en esto de aprender inglés yo solito. Porque entendí eso, lo que le decía Ofelia. Entre payment y process. Si yo agarro el diccionario y busco payment. Mmm, no lo voy a encontrar. Como verbo no lo voy a encontrar. Luego entendí en el 2005. Ajá, en el 2005 de que. Tenía que buscar la raíz de las palabras. Esto me suena a pago. Pagar. A pagar. Ok. Terminación meant. Ok. Como dijo Edwin, creo. Payment. Pago. Sería un nombre. Ah, no es un verbo. ¿Y process? ¿Será pro proceso? Sí, pero el proceso también. Uh -huh. El verbo también es process. Procesar. Uh -huh. Que tendría sentido. Donde ella pago proceso. Mm. Donde ella pago procesar. Mm. Ah, ok. Ahí ya mi cerebro usa la lógica y dice, wey, procesar, pago. Ah. Y pues ya ocupo mi propia interpretación, ¿no? Where does she process the payment? Y esto quería aterrizar. Aquí tenía que haber empezado. Ojo. Después del artículo the, jamás va a ir un verbo. Jamás va a ir un verbo después del artículo the. Y si te fijas, aquí te lo están dando ya con eh, esa parte del ejercicio. The payments. So, ojo, un artículo no puede ir antes de un verbo. Solo en la Biblia nada más. Un ejemplo. El verbo se hizo carne. Ay, no. Ok. Eso es bueno. Ajá. Sí, me engañaste. Sí, no te puedo decir, vamos a, a el jugar. Right? Vamos al jugar. Bro. Let's go to the play. Y suele ocurrir, suele ocurrir que más de alguno me va a hacer eso, me va a agregar el verbo, el artículo antes del verbo. En la tarea, cuando estás escribiendo los verbos, ya vas a ver. Risa te va a dar cuando revisas tus tareas. Vas a decir, Ups. Ok, good. So, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Where does she process the payment? Oh, era plural. The payments. Los pagos. Otra cosa, no puedo pluralizar un verbo. Ok. Good. And number four. Volunteer. Anybody? Alguien que no haya hablado. Come on. When does employee acquire the raw material? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, vuelvo a lo mismo. El libro, en este caso, el, el ejemplo. Um, lo que se te está pidiendo le falta una, una parte de esta fórmula que quisieron hacer. Ok. When does employee acquire the raw material? What is acquire? What's acquire? Adquirir. Adquirir. Ok. And raw material, we said. ¿Qué dijimos que era raw material? Materia prima. Materia, materia, prima. materia prima. Very good. When does, I would say, the employee acquire raw material when does the employee acquire mm -hmm. the raw material falta un de ok para que yes. tenga sentido eso si no no tiene sentido ok good as easy as that tan simple y fácil como eso questions is it clear is it clear like horchata yes ok Great. <laughs> Clear like horchata. Okay, let's move on. So let's create a conversation with 
two partners about their daily activities at work, then ask questions for extra information about someone else's duties. Okay. And so she worked, and so the word became flesh. The verb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think I got your joke. Okay, by the way, chiste, you say joke, okay? That's why the joker. El bromas. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, so this is your job. <laughs> Your duty. Oh, before we do this, I'm sorry. Before we go any further, hold on. It's very important. There we go. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Here. Okay. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Blanca Argelia Fabian Mejia. Okay, Edwin Rolando Mendez Chicas. Here. Thank you. Here. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Full name, please. Flora Lorena Chavez Campos. Yeah, I see you. Okay. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Gilberto with us. No. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Jennifer Carolina Gallardo Chacón. No. Jose Ángel Pereira Romero. Here. Thank you, sir. Jose Marvin Portillo Argueta. Karen Alexis Juárez Vigil. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Maybe Zivet, Mia Contreras. Where is she? Oh. Oh, yeah, there's maybe. Okay. Um, Nestor Ivan Ramirez Galeano. Here. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Yes. Here. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez Ventura. Here. Reinaldo Bonilla Martinez. Okay, uh, Veronica Lisette Sanchez Perez. Here. And Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez Mejia. Here. Okay. Esto de trabajar desde la casa nos ha cambiado la vida todo, pero no. <laughs> te acostumbras a ciertas cosas fuera de lo común que en un salón de clase no te pasaría, como que tu perro te tenga que estar oliendo para que lo saques. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Sorry, guys. No sé si escucharon, ¿no? <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. So, this is your duty right now. This is tu trabajo ahorita. Okay. Hey, Edwin. Yeah. This is an example. Okay. What do you do on Wednesdays? Hmm. Hey, Edwin, what do you do on Wednesdays? It's correcting me because this is a capital. I, mm. I have a meeting in the project. I have a meeting with the boss. I have a meeting with the boss. With. Wait, wait, to present my sales report. Let's add something else. My midweek sales <laughs> report. Okay. A. Really? That's harsh. 
Let's see if I got it right. Harsh. Yeah, you should have gotten it. No? Okay. That's harsh. That's harsh. What is that? And that's hard. Harsh is la forma fresa de decir hard. Difficult. It's hard. difficult. Okay. One second. Okay, that's harsh. And what about what about Thursdays? Um, okay. B. I have to visit more clients. A. Okay. I have nothing to do all next week. Okay. Oh. Sorry for you. See, this is a simple conversation. Hey, Edwin. What do you do on Wednesdays? I have a meeting with the boss to present my midweek sales report. Really? That's harsh. And what about Thursdays? I have to visit more clients. Okay. I have nothing to do all next week. Sorry for you. Okay. Can you do it? Yes. yes, this is simple. I was sorry to está bien sencillo esto porque no les estoy pidiendo que digan un listado de actividades. No, hagamos lo más natural. O no es esa la manera en la que hablas con algún compañero de trabajo. Así como que, hey, Edwin, ¿qué haces los miércoles? Uh, tengo una reunión con el jefe para presentar mi reporte de ventas de media semana. Hay compañías que te exigen eso, ¿verdad? La media semana, ¿ah, ¿cómo vamos? fregados, ok lo que significa que el jueves por lógica ok, really that's harsh well, así como eso de really that's harsh es como well, que yuca híjole, ya, de verdad qué difícil um, y qué hay de los jueves ok, y qué tal los jueves qué hay de los jueves, y qué tal los jueves, tengo que visitar más clientes, dice bueno Mm, ok, no tengo nada que hacer la próxima semana. Le dice Edwin, lo siento por ti. Sorry for you. Ok. It's natural, right? En una conversación típica te dirían, what do you have to do tomorrow? Um, I have to prepare the reports, create checks, call clients, y enumeras múltiples actividades. No, yo quiero que te enfoques más en sonar natural, ocupar expresiones, como preguntaba Yancy por ahí, ¿ok? What expressions can you see? ¿Qué expresiones puedes ver en esta conversación? <laughs> really? Okay. 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 Let, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Really? Okay. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Really? Okay. Sorry. Okay. What, uh, is okay. what is okay? Hey. Está bien. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. That's right. Okay. Any other? Sorry. Sorry for you. This is an expression. Sorry for you. Okay. Ojo, entonación, eh. Sorry for you. Sorry for you. Ese sorry for you es como envidia, ¿verdad? Alguien tiene envidia de que el otro no tiene nada que hacer la otra semana. Sorry for you. Así como. Gran drama que estás haciendo, no tienes nada que hacer. Ok. Good. Hey, next. That's harsh. That's harsh. That's harsh. Fresa, pero todo el mundo lo ocupa. Ok. I think that's all. Good. So try to use, try to be very expressive. De una manera profesional, eh. Esto es muy natural y puede ser usado a un nivel profesional. Even el that's harsh. 
Okay. Good. So let's go together in small groups and let's try, let's try to build our own conversation between two people. We are 14 and we're going to be in trios or couples, trios or couples. If you're in a trio, sorry, for you. sorry for you, <laughs> whatever. Oh my God, whatever. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> whatever, look at that. Okay, good. Let's do it. We have three trios and two couples. Let's go. Let's go. Ahora somos cuatro. Ahora somos cuatro, tú y yo, tú y ella. English. English. You and me. Mm. Me and you. <laughs> Cuando la conversación, teacher, al grupo. How do you say oh, no. Let me do it. Pero es que no se trata de... Ojo, no se trata de eh, hacerlo de la tarea. Eso ya, no, ya lo hicimos juntos. Eh, se trata de que ustedes escriban su propia um, conversación mm -hmm. sobre lo que hacen en su trabajo de una manera muy natural. That's the point. How do you say crear? Create. 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 Mm -hmm. Create your own conversation. Uh, vas a ver eso de diferentes formas. Build up. Come up with makeup. Make up a story. Eso es lo que más usualmente utilizo ya más después. Make up a story. Inventate una historia. Come up with igual crear. Build up. Construir una historia. Okay, create. Mm -hmm. So you have A, B. And C. Can someone can someone share the screen? Share the screen with a word document. Can you share the screen? Alguien puede compartir la pantalla con un documento de Word para ir escribiendo. Estoy desde el celular, no puedo. This? Igual. Same. Desde Yancy? el teléfono estoy. You too, Yancy? Um, Cell phone? Voy a intentar. Oh. Vamos a ver si no hay nada interesante. Oh my God. <laughs> a woman. Una mujer diciendo eso, no puedo creer. ¿Sabes? Yo daba soporte técnico en Dell. Y a veces nos tocaba conectarnos en la computadora de las personas. Y era como, por favor, desconecte su cámara y quite el fondo de pantalla que tenga en la computadora, ¿verdad? Por favor. Pero mire, tengo un perrito. No importa, por favor, quite el fondo de la pantalla. ¿Lo puede hacer? No, no sé. Va, yo la guío. Ok. Nunca lo hacía. Y te hago una sorpresa. ¿Para qué te cuento? Estaba en mi compu y no tenía internet, entonces me presté la de mi hermana y tenía todo abierto. Por eso lo digo. Ah, oh. Sí, ok. Buena excusa. Ok. Good. So just open a Word document and that's it. Solo compartir el documento de Word. Eh, Zoom te da la opción de compartir solo una parte o un documento. Ok, so go ahead. Start. Hey, Liz. So, hoy, hoy, ahí, está, ahí está Eric hablando. Hey, se, hey, sería Eric. Hey, Liz. Sí. What are you doing on Wednesday? Um, hello. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Quiero ver cómo. Ay, espérame que no me sale. Vale, ahí está. Hello, Eric. Uh, I have a 
¿Cómo okay. se dice? Tengo que salir. I have to go out. Pregunta. I have oh, okay. to go I out. Have to go out. So, solo eso. Out. Por ejemplo, salir. O U T. O U T. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. I have to go out and visit some clients, tal vez, or. Where, uh -huh. where are you? Where are you? Yo voy a preguntar eso. <laughs> well, tengo que salir con Jancy. <laughs> ¿Dónde iremos? Podemos preguntar. Uh -uh. Ajá. Uh -uh. No. Oíte. No, entonces no. Escúchate, escúchate. Estás diciendo. Where are you? Uh -uh. Está en futuro, iremos. Ah. Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde vamos? Podría ser? Tal vez, ¿a dónde tienes que ir? Where do you have to go? Where do you have to go? ¿A dónde tienes que ir? Where do you have, have to go? Igual que go. la conversación de arriba. Yeah. Where do you have to go? No. Uh -huh. Aquí, después de Hayley, ¿qué le preguntó Eric? Hayley. What do you do on Wednesday? Ok, ya le agarraron, chicos. Sí, very good. Teacher, uh, question. Um, confusion for future, future. Porque me quería preguntar que si había llegado tarde a mi casa. Pero ya ahí ya le digo que es futuro. ¿no? Uh, sí. ¿Cómo era la pregunta? Me We are trying to, uh -huh. to make uh, present tense. But we have to do past question. No. Future. Solo hemos visto presentes. Todo va a ser en presente. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Mm -hmm. Why? Como pregunta Before. si llegó tarde. <laughs> Entonces, puede, puede ser bien. Um, ¿Vienes hasta, hasta este momento o vienes hasta vienes ahorita? Eso es presente continuo. ¿Cómo sería? El presente continuo ocurre ahorita mismo. Ok, acordate. El presente siempre es como la rutina, lo que usualmente ocurre. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Que ya quería preguntarme. Eh, sí, eh. Por algún motivo no miro tu pantalla, ¿Qué? maybe. ¿Qué? Ella quería preguntarle. Entonces llegó tarde a su casa. Algo así. Algo así. Mm -hmm. Ay, eso sería pasado. Eso es pasado. Ajá. ¿Qué Porque tal si lo vi... hacemos de caso que es algo usual? Entonces usualmente llega tarde a su trabajo. Ah, sí, quizás sí. Uh -huh. Sí, porque ella me había preguntado qué había hecho en el día. Yo le había contestado que, que, que lo que había hecho. Y de ahí me dijo que sí había sido un día cansado. Y yo le dije... Siguen hablando no? en pasado. Ah, uh -oh. o que sí fue cansado. O que sí fue cansado. Uh -uh. Bueno, no. uh -uh. Estás cansada, tal vez. Ajá. Y yo le dije, no much. Maybe Ajá. tomorrow because I travel to San Miguel. O sea, hoy I, no, pero mañana. Because no. I have to travel to San Miguel. Cuando tú hablas, y eso, eso no lo hemos visto, eso lo vamos a ver en el básico 2, pero igual, es fácil. Eh, el presente simple se puede ocupar en eventos agendados. Y eso es muy común. I have to travel to San Miguel on Monday. Tengo que viajar a San Miguel el lunes. ¿Ok? I have to travel to San Miguel on Monday. ¿Ok? I have to travel. Travel to San Miguel. Travel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am always late. Siempre estoy tarde. So you are always late for work. So siempre llegas tarde al trabajo. Eso se vuelve una rutina. Ok. Así mm -hmm. quiero que piensen que es algo rutinario o que está agendado al futuro. Ahí sí se puede. Y ocupo have para expresarlo. Y el, el, el día exacto, la hora exacta, si se puede. Ok. Good. Keep going. Okay. Good. Si me necesitan, me invocan. Ok. okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Las cantonas flores. 
to oh we that's visit, good we visit a lot of a lot of schools in the san miguel in san miguel in san miguel yeah that's great Mm -hmm. uh, teacher how do you say lastimosamente oh unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately 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 unfortunately, unfortunately Unfortunately, this project, that project finish. Estás hablando del pasado. Uh, sí, Desgraciadamente, ya, ese ya. proyecto terminó. Sí, ya no estamos en el proyecto. Um, ya no estamos en el proyecto. Para no ocupar verbos en pasado, sería mejor decir, that project is over. That project is over. It's over. What days do you work? What days do you work? Monday to Friday. Okay. What do you do on Saturday? I um, I visit my family and I is some Sometimes Saturdays. Sometimes. Sometimes I I work in delivery too. Excellent. I work in deliveries too. Good. If you need me, raise your hand, okay? Okay. Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you do on Saturday? I what do do? Teacher, I remember el cuando usamos esa la pregunta, pero o sea, el do you do is do do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Eso, sí, eso quiere decir que haces. Ok. What do you do? Ok. Solo así estoy preguntando qué haces. Haces. Ok, ¿qué haces? Ahora, quiero que lo entiendan de esta manera. Si yo cambio ese do, el segundo, bien hasta acá. Estoy respetando la estructura que les decía, una WH, el auxiliar. Uh -huh. el auxiliar. Do, porque estoy hablando de you. Yo. Ok. Y este que está acá es el que tú puedes cambiar para preguntar qué tal cosa. Es decir, what do you read? ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué? Leer. ¿Qué lees? ¿Qué lees? What do you read? Ok. What do you... Work on. ¿En qué trabajas? ¿En qué trabajas? O sea, en general, en estos días, en esta rutina que llevas ahorita, porque el presente simple es rutina, ¿no? What do you work on? ¿En qué trabajas ahorita? Um, what do you say? ¿Qué dices? Hey, what do you say? ¿Qué dices? Como opinión, tu opinión. What do you say? Más, más común. What do you think? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué piensas? Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, la confusión es suya estará en esto. El auxiliar es este. Y este que está acá es solo un verbo. Ok. Good. Ok. Ok. okay. okay. Por regla general what tiene que ir ese you? what do you. Si quieres what preguntar qué... Y la acción a una segunda persona es What do you what do? What do you work on? What do you say? What do you see? What do you see? What, ¿Qué do, ves? You what, what do you, you listen to? Good. What, are, what do you listen to? ¿Qué escuchas? 
What do you listen to? Okay. Okay. Diferente es si yo voy a hablar de una tercera persona. What does she say? What does she say? ¿Qué dice mm -hmm. ella? Mm -hmm. say. What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? Okay. What does she look at? ¿Qué mira ella? What does she look at? What does she look at? ¿Qué, a, ¿A dónde está viendo? ¿Qué está viendo? ¿Qué está mirando? Okay. What does she think? De nuevo, ¿no? What does she think? ¿Qué piensa? What does she hide? ¿Qué esconde? Okay. Remember, he, she, it. He, she, it does. Okay. What does it hide? ¿Qué esconde eso? What does it hide? What does it hide? What does it hide? Ok. Puede ser confuso eso, pero no se claven con eso. Bien. Han intentado hacer la, la estructura de como la conversación entre, entre ustedes dos. Más o menos. Sí. Yeah. Ok. Sí, más o menos. Le hemos ido cambiando cosas a lo que de la conversación. Ok. Ok, good. ¿Quieren intentarlo? Yes. Ok, let's see, let's see. Ok. Eh, hi, Ophelia. What do you do What on do? Saturdays? On Saturdays. Uh -huh. On has a mini we day both uh, to present a mini We in sport report. Report. Okay, no le cambiamos ahí. Uh -huh. Really? Report. Really, that is incredible. And think... what about modern? For other days? I has. I has to visit, visit offices. I have to visit offices, okay. Okay, I have nothing to the um, or uh, weekend. I have weekend. nothing to do on weekend. Mm -hmm. On weekend. To do on weekend. 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 Okay. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. Richard, I is it I can I mention that I or solo sorry for you. Se puede mencionar. Uh, sí, se puede y no se puede. Sorry for you. Sorry for you es como más natural. Sorry for you. Yep. I am, I'm sorry for you. Lo siento por ti. Sorry for you. Es lo mismo. Lo siento por ti. Okay. Good, good, good. Expressions. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's just wait for the rest of your classmates. How is your day? How's your day? Okay. I think you're all back. Creo que ya regresaron, right? Yep, okay. So, hmm. maybe it's a number between one and five. No, number, uh, number four. No, thank you. A number between one and five, Rafa. Y 
Yeah. Three. Three. Excellent. Yes, I was thinking about the number three. Excellent. Thank you, Rafa. So, Rafa and Ivan, ready? Come on, read your example. Rafa, I don't write. Ivan, you didn't write it? I don't write too. <laughs> you didn't write it. Okay, let's improvise. We... Can, you, can you improvise? Yeah. Sure. So, how do you say, uh, todo lo hicimos platicando? Right, great. Improvise, improvisar. Very good. Eso okay. es aún mejor, chicos. Muy bien. Very good. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, action. Rafael, what did you do in the university? I work in the accounting department. I wait me. I keep the fin financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflow. Flow. Oof. Good. <laughs> Ivan, what day do you work? I work Monday to Friday. So what do you do on Saturday? And Sunday, oh, the weekend is to share weekend. I think the semana, true. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, what do what do you do on weekend? I watch I watch TV. I am um, visit to my family and um, and um some some. Something sometimes deliveries too on Saturdays afternoon. That's great, Ivan. Where do, where where do you work? I work in Fedisal. I work in Fedisal. What did you do? I am. Uh, Um, logistic assistant to logistic department, and I, I, I take the report of the consultores. Thank you very much. Okay, that was great. Great job. One applause, guys. Come on. Woo. Okay. Let's see. So if you know, if you look at your chat, uh, Rafa and Ivan, most of all, más que todo Rafa y Ivan. Okay, wait me. A decir Rafa, wait me. Wait me. A ver, ¿quién se acuerda cómo se decía? Espérame. Let me. No. Mm. Oh, wait. Espera un poco, un poquito wait. más. So let's just wait there. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, pero yo les enseñaba varias formas de decir eso. Uh, oh, decíamos hold on. Wait, hold on. Yeah, acuérdate de esa canción. Hold on. Um, hold on. Wait a minute. O como te lo pongo ahí, wait for me. Oh, wait for me. Wait a minute. Pronunciation. Transactions. Transactions. Transaction. Tran. Tran. Sac. Sac. Shins. Shin. Shins. Shins. Ahí estás. Bien, Rafa. Very good. Tener buena, agarrar rápido la pronunciación, eso es bueno. What day do you work? Te faltó el sonido final de la S porque estás pluralizando la pregunta. All right. What days do you work? What days do you work? Um, decía Ivan, I work Monday to Friday. 
I work from Monday to Friday, from to. I work from Monday to Friday. Listen, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Y es lo que vamos a ver a continuación. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Um, I visit to my family, dice el compañero. Ese tú no lo necesito, solo digo, I visit my family. I visit my family. Okay. That's great. Sonidos a ti, eh, eh, Rafa, lo que te falta son los sonidos finales de las palabras. That's, that, that, that's great. That's great. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay. El sonido T. That's great. Um, what are you do? Y la pregunta era, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Got it? Good. Okay, guys. Good. Anybody else? Alguien más que quiera participar, que sienta la urgencia, así con esos ánimos que tiene Lisa ahorita, de que no aguanta y quiero hacer esto, lo voy a reír. Porque he practicado tanto que. Uh -huh. and alguien que anda el key alto ahorita. Where's José? I think he left. Okay. Good. So, no one. Okay. Let's move on. Good guys, um, let's work on something. Se fue José y vamos a ver algo que le podría haber interesado mucho. Okay, I sent you this to your WhatsApp. Okay, numbers, easy, easy. Okay, just listen and repeat. Listen and repeat for yourself. Le escucha y repetí para ti mismo. Okay, listen. You say one. Let me take this thing here. Okay, so you say one, two, three. Again, just say three, three, Cuidado, no digas three, this is three. Four, four, five, five, six, seven. Ojo con los labios, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight. Nine, nine. ¿Quieres pronunciar bien eso? Tapate la nariz al final. Y que no, no te va a salir el sonido de la, de la N final. Si es una, una Ñ, es un sonido nasal y te va a quedar atrapado atrás y te tapas la nariz. Dice nine. No sale. So, sentí eso. Nine. Ten. Ten. Ok, let's continue. Eleven. Eleven. 12, 12, 12, 13. Y ojo, desde aquí empieza la entonación en el ting, ting, ok. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Y luego empiezo a contar de regreso. 20, 1, 22, 23, hasta 29. Ojo, 29. Lo mismo va a ocurrir con el 30. 30. Ojo, algún profesor te dirá, no es que doble la lengua y diga, igual que el gato del meme. No. Ok, tú. La, la boca plana, los labios planos, sacas un, po un poquito de la lengua, soplas, y mientras que vas adentro, pronuncias, mira, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, y no es 30, ok, solo es 30, ok, 40, 40, 50, 
60, 50. 60, 60, 70, 70. Repito, no te estoy enseñando inglés británico. No te voy a decir que digas 70, 80, no. 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100, 100. 100, 100. Sonido gutural. La H siempre va a salir de aquí como una J. Pero enfoca, en, enfócate en soplar desde la garganta. 100, 100. Suena más A que U. 100. 1000. Ojo. 1000. Empieza con Z. Tiene una TH. Entonces, 1000. 1000. 1000. 1000. Million. De momento vamos a ocupar del 1 al 12. From 1 to 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Y en realidad es hasta el 60. ¿Por qué? <laughs> well, because we're going to practice the time. Vamos a hablar de el tiempo. Ok. A lo Pink Floyd. Time. Ok. Why? ¿Por qué necesito que digas la hora exactamente con números? Ok. Muchos profesores te van a decir que tienes que decir It's a quarter past eleven. It's twenty-five past twelve. Son veinticinco. O yo por eso. O sea, un, un inglés más natural. Lo que yo escucho a diario. Jamás he escuchado a un americano decir eso, sino que solo te dicen los números. ¿Ya? Yeah? Um, what time is it right now? Um, Rafa, what time is it? 9.42 p.m. That's it. Ni siquiera mencionas el, for, el p.m. porque tú y yo estamos en El Salvador, estamos frente a frente en teoría. You just say 9.42. ¿Ves? El contexto, eh, si, esto es, si Rafa estuviese en la India, entonces sí le diría, hey, it's 9.42 p.m. on Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah, it's 9.42 p.m. on Wednesday. Porque ya, ya es jueves. Ok. Good. Let's see. Vanessa. This is not with us. She's busy. No, no, no. I'm here. Okay. Vanessa, what time do you go yes. to bed? What time do you go to bed? Uh, uh, usually at midnight or 1 a.m. 1 a.m. You see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. You know, look at veíamos, right? We can say midnight. We can say noon. Right? Okay. As simple as that. Solo decir los números. Edwin, what time do you go out of your house? At, I mean, what time do you go out of your house? Five. I five go thirty. Okay, at five thirty a.m. A.m. Yes. Great, Michelle. Yes. What time do you take a shower? At uh, five a.m. Really? Okay. Good. As simple as that. Okay. Questions. So again, you can say five. Okay, you can say five, thirty. Look, five, thirty. Five, five, thirty. Five, thirty, right? You can say five, thirty-seven. Five, thirty, seven. Cinco y treinta y siete, right? Same thing. Three. 55, 350. Okay, so you can say 355. Okay. ¿Qué, hora, ¿Qué hora son? 
355. 355. That's right. It's 355. Now, um, para aterrizar un poco lo que decía el compañero por ahí. Okay. Yes, you can say AM. Yes, you can say PM. Yes, you can say o'clock. Si lo notaron que lo escribí ahí en el chat. Okay, what is it? Wait a minute. O'clock. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Ah, ya no me da el cerebro. Okay, o'clock. Okay, 12 o'clock. Esto de o'clock quiere decir en punto. En punto. Solo así. Por eso no vayas a decir nunca, it's 8 p.m. o'clock. Mm. Ok. No vayas a decir, son las 8 p.m. en punto. Mm. Son las 8 a.m. en punto. No. Solo una de esas opciones. It's 8 a.m. It's 8 p.m. It's 8 o'clock. Otra cosa por la que podría reemplazar el o'clock sería sharp. It's 8 sharp. Sharp. Mm -hmm. Hey, Edwin, we have a meeting. Te va a decir el jefe. We have a meeting. When, when, boss? Tonight at 8 sharp. A las 8. Con, con punta. <laughs> sharp, sí. es, sharp es filo, punta. Mm -hmm. So. Y lo ocupan mucho. Es A sharp. Es A sharp. Es 11 sharp. Ok. AM, PM, o'clock. Noon. Eso solo y única y exclusivamente se ocupa con las 12. What time is it? It's 12 noon. 12 noon. 12 noon. Ajá, eso es 12 p.m. Para las 12 tengo esa opción, ¿no? 12 noon or 12 midnight. I can say 12 a.m. It's 12 a.m. It's 12 midnight. It's 12 p.m. It's 12 noon. Teacher, can I say only noon? Yes, sir. What time is it? Oh, it's noon. Oh, it's midnight. That's it. Okay. Ojo, horas exactas. Um, what else? Oh, and yes. Sí, también puedes decir 12 midday here. Que no es muy utilizado, pero sí, sí ya lo he escuchado. It's 12 midday. Midday, midnight, noon. Ok, solo no se confundan con esto. ¿eh? Eso del noon va aquí al mediodía. Bueno, lo voy a poner. Voy a hacer... Se puede responder como a veces eh, decimos faltan 20 para las 12. Yes. It's 20 to 12. It's 20 to 12. It's 20 to 12. Hay una regla de eso. Y por eso a mí no me gusta enseñar eso porque hay que poner relojitos y que no hay que que dice que después de la media hora eh, empezás a hablar de lo que falta así como lo acabamos de hacer acá so I will say diría it's 29 to 12 it's 29 to 12 29 a las 12 por ejemplo it's 29 to 1 faltan 29 a la 1 a la 1 a las 12 ok si um, la cantidad de minutos es menor, ojo, entonces, ¿qué hora es acá? Perdón, es 29 to 1, ¿qué hora sería? 12 y, y 12 y 31. 31. Excelente. 12 31, porque faltan 29 minutos para la 1. Very good. Ok. Um, la segunda regla es que si el número es menor de 30, ok, si son las 12 y 29. Diría, it's 29. Past. Yep, it's 29 past. What? 12. Yeah. It's 29 past 12. O sea, pasan 29 minutos de las 12. Ok. 
Can I say quarter? Yes, you can say quarter. A quarter. It's a quarter to 11. It's a quarter to 11. No es cora. It's a quarter to 11. Okay. Falta un cuarto a tal hora. It's a quarter to one. It's a quarter to two. Quarter to four. Okay. Questions? No? So let's move on, guys. It's really late. I'm going to tell you what I. Yeah, I erased it anyways. So let's keep going. Because... Yep. How do you say media hora? How do you say mega, la mega hora? No, how, no, how do you say media hora? Media oh, hora. good. How, thank you. Half, half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour. Hmm? Pero no puedo decir half day, cuidado, eh? no puedo decir half day. Sin embargo, depende del contexto. Tomaría, me, tomaría me, media día. Okay. It takes half day. Good. About your book. Uh, necesito que en el chat empiecen a hacerse preguntas utilizando okay, lo que tenemos de información acá. Bien, si notas en la página 33 ya empiezan con ejercicios de what time. Si quiero preguntar que a qué horas es un evento, por ende voy a ocupar el verbo to be. What time is the video call with the West Company? Mm -hmm. What time does the workshop with the research department start? Y eso lo vamos a abordar más a fondo mañana. Pero si ya tienes una noción de esto, empieza a hacerle preguntas a tus compañeros. What time does it start? Quiero, quiero aclarar algo porque esto le va a causar un poco de confusión. Mira. En esta sección, the workshop with the research department Estoy hablando de qué? De eso. Ok, eso. What time does it start? What time does it start? ¿A qué horas empieza este evento? The workshop with the research department. El taller con el departamento de investigación. Hay un taller. Ok. ¿A qué horas comienza? What time does it start? ¿Sí me entendieron eso? Eh, repito, estoy hablando de una situación, un evento que tiene un nombre. El nombre del evento es el taller de, con el departamento de desarrollo. Ok, lo mismo acá. ¿Dónde estaría el, el objeto de esta pregunta? What time does the company close? Liz, te miro mero, mero, un poco pensativa. ¿Sí? Ok. Bien, empezamos desde la raíz entonces. Uh, esto de en esa what, tercera se dice what time does y close. Correcto. O sea, mira. Ahora seguimos con la misma estructura. Quiero que sería uh -huh. más fácil explicarlo así y espero que vuelvan a ver este video cuando les comparta el eh, link para el video. A ver, what time, esta sería mi WH. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Das sigue siendo mi auxiliar. ¿Por qué? Porque sigo hablando de una tercera persona. En este ejemplo, la número tres. The company es el sujeto. It es el sujeto. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Miren esta parte de la clase otra vez. Ok. Entonces, close es el verbo. Uh -huh. Ok. En su forma base. Así, siempre. WH, auxiliary, subject, verb. Si dijese, on Tuesdays, 
los martes, entonces sería el complemento. Uh -huh. Ok. What time? Esa es, esa es ahora mi, mi WH. ¿Qué quiere decir what time? ¿A qué hora? ¿Qué hora? ¿A qué horas? Sigo con la misma estructura. Does, auxiliary. Subject. Sí, una pregunta. Yo a veces me he metido como a, a querer ver nuevamente como los videos, ¿verdad? Pero yo estoy sabedora de más o menos dónde es que quiero como reforzar esa información o volver a aclararla. Pero en el video me aparece que tengo que verlo desde el principio, desde la A hasta la Z. No puedo como adelantarlo. Pero está en YouTube. Hay que esperar ah, a, que, a que haga una, un proceso que se llama buffering. Que cargue, pues que cargue el video, uh -huh. ¿sí? Y te, te, de hecho, cuando tú abres un video, abajito sale la línea que va cargando encima de la roja que va avanzando. So, ahí depende del internet, de la velocidad del internet también. ¿Ok? Sí, entonces, todo esto, mira, the workshop with the research department es este sujeto, it. ¿Por qué? Les decía, it reemplaza a objetos figurados, intangibles, Ok. Cosas intangibles. Ok. Y había pasado la lista antes. No sí, si la pasamos ah, pues me a me levanté. Las... Sí, sí, pero igual, no se preocupen. Eh, sí, yo sí te tomo en cuenta, mi vez. ¿Cómo olvidarte? Estivo conmigo. Sí, sure. Ok, bueno. Well. Como digo, how do you say? Tengo una duda. <laughs> How do you say? Tengo una duda. I have a doubt. I have a, I doubt. Have a doubt. Doubt. I have a doubt. Okay. Yeah, what's your okay. doubt? Es que del, 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 de uno de los tests de la plataforma tengo una duda con una pregunta con el plural. Ooh, okay. your, your students mm -hmm. are, are nice. Is correct? Si está en plural, students, ojo, si veo que un nombre está en plural, lógico, el verbo tuyo va a ir en plural, o sea, are. Your students are nice. Sus estudiantes son buenos, son chidos. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Hey, si tienen alguna pregunta con alguno de los ejercicios, solo mándenme el número del ejercicio. Si dice 3.1, 3.2, no sé. Ok. Good. And to finish the class, as usual, let's go again. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Blanca Argelia Fabián Mejía. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Here. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Flora Lorena Chávez Campos. Here. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Jennifer Carolina Gallardo Chacón. José Ángel Pereira Romero. José Marvin Portillo Argueta. Karen Alexis Juárez Vigil. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. I'm here. Mavis Yvette Milla Contreras. Here. Néstor Iván Ramírez Galeano. Here. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Reinaldo Bonilla Martínez. Verónica Lizeth Sánchez Pérez. Here. And Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Good guys. Eh, bien. Ojo. Denme un segundo. Eh, si está Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames, se, pues se une a la siguiente reunión. Luego vamos con Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Luego Gilberto Eli Mendoza, si es que eh, se puede. Luego José Marvin, pero José Marvin de 10 y media a 10 y 40 hay un espacio. El chicos, si alguien se quiere unir, pues se los agradeceré si gusta, si quieren. Blanca Argelia, Fabián Mejía, está de 10 y 40 a 10 y 50, pero no estuvo con nosotros ahora en la clase, so quedaría igual el espacio ahí, ok bien chicos revisen el chat bye, good night, good night.